So here I am in the middle of Birmingham doing my first supercharge. Um, yeah, awesome. Uh, so it's a very posh hotel. Um, and it's plugged in and it's supercharging. So I'll just get in and show you what's going on. <laughs> For those of us that uh, drive this and leaf, you'll find this truly staggering. I'm charging at 284-283 amps which is a huge amount just over twice a rapid charger um, so yeah so far this car is absolutely awesome so whilst you're watching let me go to the sat nav and as you see I'm still learning the sat nav to be honest um, Let's put my I put my destination in, which is my ferry port in Aberdeen, and it took me via Birmingham. I wasn't fully charged, so if I then say navigate, so finding superchargers for your trip. Um, I didn't leave with a full charge this morning because I was in late last night. I put it in at my parents' house. But it only gave me about 100 only 120 miles so uh, i think i could have got up to sheffield to rapid charge but i'm going to follow what the tesla sat nav is telling me to do so the next charge he's saying gretna green so let's see what uh, what goes on? It's saying one hour estimated charging. Um, so let's see how we get on. There we go. It's uh, it the route. Let's see if I can scroll out a bit. There we go. So the red dots are basically the superchargers. The grey dots are sort of level two chargers, which aren't so fast. Right, it's sending me all the way up there. See, I've got one at Warrington, Sheffield. But it's sending me up the M6. All the way up to Gretna Green. Which is 208 miles. I've got another one there. Where's that? Abingdon. The last one is definitely going to be Edinburgh because it's only or oh, it's only a measly 100 miles to Aberdeen after Edinburgh. So yeah, it's uh, plotted the most efficient route. Um, so whether I could have gone over towards the right, Sheffield, Leeds. Wait for it to load and go. Yeah, probably the M6 is still probably the the best choice. So yeah, so there we go. Anyway, more later. Right, update on the sat nav, which I'm finally working out as I'm sitting here uh, charging. Uh, so this is my total route all the way up to Aberdeen. But the trip location is telling me where I need to rapid charge and for how long. So the next one is Warrington for 25 minutes to take on 27%. Then Gretna Green for 20 minutes and then Edinburgh for 40 minutes. And then I'll have enough to get to Aberdeen. It's also telling me total distance there, if you can see it. Uh, 431 miles, 8 hours, 13 minutes. And I should arrive if I left now at um what's that nearly two o'clock which is <laughs> what's that third two three four five which is three hours before i should so oh, i've got plenty of time and the car's worked out where i need to stop at these wonderful rapid charges so more later so here we are at warrington it's a spa place which is rather nice i've just had a quick coffee and uh, i didn't need to stop but i needed well the car didn't need to stop but i needed to stop I've just put in my next charge point, which is Gretna, 
which is 133 miles away and it's just popped up you now have enough energy to, co to continue on your trip isn't that brilliant so 134 miles to my next stop which after driving Nissan Leaf that is just <laughs> it's just absolutely brilliant um, let's put the bigger screen on there we go so I can carry on now or I might just stay here for a few more minutes just make sure I'm over well the car's worked out I'll get there easily so uh, I might just do a little bit more filming and uh, be on my way and if I press trip I think it gives you my overall there we go that's my overall trip journey so the next one's Gretna and the next one is Edinburgh so I've only got two more superchargers and again it tells me at Gretna I'll only have to stop for 20 minutes and at Edinburgh just 40 minutes and then to get to Aberdeen and I'm still on track to be at Aberdeen for quarter past two this afternoon my boat doesn't leave till five so uh, easy peasy joy to drive I love this thing anyone want to buy my kidney <laughs> I'd love to own this it's just brilliant anyway more later so I've just unplugged the supercharger and uh, we're off. Uh, resume. Okay. So it really is that simple. Um, I'm back up to two. Back up. I'm up to 214 miles. So um, yeah, 134 miles to Gretna. By which time I shall need to stop again. Um, but uh, it is just immense. I'm going to stop talking and just leave the video running for five or ten minutes just to give you some idea of uh, what it's like to come out of the car park and pick up the motorway and be on my way. So uh, I'll stop talking. In 150 yards, turn left onto Stretton Road. And you'll get some idea of what the sat nav's like as well. Now turn left. Coffee was nice at that place, by the way. The hell spot, what's it called? The Royal Park Hotel. Oh. Oh, traffic. Can't wait to be back on Orkney. We don't get this on Orkney. The thing I've noticed is that a lot of people do seem to know what this car is. Particularly Audi drivers. They seem to look and stare and tailgate and then try and fly past and yeah. <clears throat> Audi drivers Mr. Musk seems to be very aware of your product, which is a good thing. Um, they should all wake up and realise this is far better than any poxy Audi. Right, this is pretty boring, so I'm going to turn the video off and do some more later. So, I'm well up the M6. Um, still got about 170 miles range left. 54 miles to go until we get to Gretna. Um, what other words can we use that's different to last time? This car is awesome. It is amazing. I am totally hooked on this car. I don't want to give it back. It does everything I want. And the pickup on it is just out of this world. Yeah, it's just brilliant. The little rumbling I found out, I thought it was a fault. <laughs> it's not, it's got lane departure warning. So it's reading the lines in the road, the white markings. And cleverly, if you, obviously if you indicate to pull to the right, you go over the line, it doesn't vibrate. It's just, just tiny little details like that make it just such a good joy to own. The pickup, 70 something now. It is 
just <laughs> it's just immense it's just brilliant um, anyway that's it for now So I've just had to stop at uh, services, not for the car, but for me, which is rather annoying. How annoying my body tells Please me I need to have a... road for 46 miles. I need to have a toilet break. Anyway, I'm off again. I've got 46 miles to do to Gretna Green. I've got 107 miles range left. Um, just spoke to a really nice chap from London in a big posh Audi, who was really intrigued with the car. He says, my friend down in London has got one of these, are they any good? So I proceeded to tell him how fantastic it is. How do you know where to charge? So I just went to the sat nav and said, well, this is where I'm being told to go today. So uh, Tesla, expect a gentleman to be knocking on your door soon when he gets back from his holiday. Um, let's just uh, gently overtake this car. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right, more later. So, I'm one and a half miles from Gretna, Gretna Green, where there is a supercharger. So I'll just leave, uh, I'll leave it recording until I find the supercharger. I don't know where it is. I'm just going to listen to the sat nav. Braking's great, I really like that. So you basically drive it just on the thrust the exit left, then turn right. So great service. I wonder if it's in welcome brake. So it's less than a half a mile away. So I've not touched the brake at all. I've just regen. 300 yards, turn right, then take the exit left. The Tesla charger. Now take the exit left. Could be a new I spy book, I suppose, couldn't it? Right. In 140 yards, bear left, then you will reach your destination. It may well be next to the Ecotricity chargers. Now bear left. Now that Ecotricity and Tesla have not fallen out, they're friends again. So I spy them, I see them. Oh, there's four. There's four! Four superchargers parked next. I'm going the wrong way around, never mind. Four superchargers next to the Tesla chargers. You have reached your destination. What your destination is on the right. Beautiful, beautiful sight. Very big speed bump. Uh, we don't want the so-called rapid chargers, we want the superchargers. Look at that. 
what a beautiful thing. Anyway, let's wrap it in. So put it into reverse, couldn't be simpler itself. Screen comes on, it's on the off side, the charge point. Go a bit closer this time, I was a bit short last time, I had to move the car. So using the camera, nice and close to the kerb. Gauge P for park, there we go. Right, let's go and have some breakfast. Right, I've just been for breakfast at Gretna Services. <laughs> I've come back, I mean I've not hung around, I've just had a breakfast, set my tea, and been to the toilet, not that you need to know that, and I've come back 194 miles. <laughs> it's just absolutely mental, brilliant, absolutely superb. Um, yeah, well within range of getting uh, to Aberdeen from here, but what I'm going to do is go to Edinburgh to charge, and there's also a couple of folk who've contacted me on social media who want to meet up so I'm going to uh, meet up with them I'm in no rush I'm well hellish ahead of schedule my boat leaves at five this afternoon and it's now quarter to eleven I've got some time to kill great so here I am at Edinburgh airport at uh, the Tesla superchargers and I've just plugged in and it shot straight up to 240 amps 230 amps 240 amps so I'm going to sit here for about 10 minutes just to give me enough to get to the port so what I'll do now is close this oh continue trip well there you go so it's remembered I want to go to Aberdeen so 123 miles and it says I'm going to get there about one minute past four, two minutes past four. So that's good, I can afford to be here for half an hour, 20 minutes and also get there fine. So I'm just going to stay here, it's 124 miles, well I'm already up to 118 so I'll get there fine. Uh, up to. Aberdeen. So yeah, what a beautiful journey. So simple, so straightforward. The sat nav's been brilliant. And uh, next video will be me arriving for the ferry.